Well, I mean, it just got worse, didn't it? Yeah. That's full flaps. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is way worse. Hey, I made a huge mistake. Got your attention, didn't I? Let's go. When I did the modification to make my EC1500 have full flaps, both inboard panels be flaps, I assumed that the down elevator compensation would need to be increased, and I was so wrong. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what happens when you get it wrong. So the default 16 at half flap and 25 at full, I changed it to 26 and 35, and, and the plane just really went for a nose down attitude after that. And I thought, well, let's give it some more. And so then we went with, uh, what, 32 and then 50, and it was even worse. Uh, Brandon was on the sticks, we were talking through it, and you'll see in the video that I come to the realization that we have to go the other way. So instead of more down elevator compensation with the flaps, with the mix, you need less. So when I finally landed upon, instead of 16 and 25, eight and 14, spot on. If you wanna see how to make the flat mod happen on your EC1500 in half the time as normal, I have made a video on that. So check that out. I'll link it in the description and put it in the info card and in screen and things like that. Check that out. Cause I can save you half the work and you can enable those full flaps. So really cool to figure that out and share that with y'all. Hopefully you enjoy it and stick around till the end of the video as well, because there's a bunch of landings, crosswind landings, grass landings, all on the new full flap setup, full flap regalia in the house. Let's get some. All right, we have the full flap set up in this and we've actually adjusted the elevator compensation to uh, 24 for half flap and 34 for full. And I don't think it's quite enough. So if you do the full flap configuration, be ready to increase the mix. All right, Brandon, let's see what you think. I love this plane, man. It looks so good. Yep. All right, mid throttle, hands off, level flight. Okay, here comes some flaps, no other inputs. Down. That's half flaps. We need now more I'm, up. I'm holding a little bit of up elevator. Okay. I'm not gonna trim for it, but I'll set kind of stable. Okay, level, here's full flaps. No other inputs. Still down. Still down, need more, wow, a lot more. Okay. So here's what we'll do. We'll come around on the runway and we'll just see what kind of steep angle we can get out of it. Because that's really what these flaps would be for. Um, you know, the, this airplane doesn't need this much flaps on an ordinary day, but for doing like a combat approach, that's what we use them for. So look how slow that was, how far down that nose that was. Yeah. Sick. Right on. Should we play with the compensation real quick? Let's try it. Okay. Off we go. You ready? All right, here we go. Playing with the mix with the full flap configuration. So we tried increasing numerically by like 10. Now we're d we doubled the mix. So half flaps is 32 and full flaps is 50. We'll see what we get. All right. No other change. Flaps. Whoa, big down. Still down. Big down. Gosh. I'll put them back up. Let's do it again here on the upwind. Okay. No other inputs. Flaps down. Big down. So you'd need even more up elevator. So I'm going the wrong way. This is feeling tail heavy. I, you know what? I bet I'm going the wrong way on the compensation. I need to cut it in half. 
instead of add half. That's why it's worse. Make sense? Uh, okay. Well, I mean, it just got worse, didn't it? Yeah. That's full flaps. Right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is way worse. This is us learning. Okay, so we are messing with the flat mix and we moved it the wrong way. I moved it the wrong way. So in, to, to increase the compensation effect, you have to decrease it numerically. So instead of 16 and 25, we're at eight, eight and 14. And we'll see what we get this time. Mid power, no other inputs, claps at half. That's good right there. Awesome. No claps full, no change. Oh, that's what, so that's what you got to do, guys. If you go with the full flap configuration, you have to cut your mix down numerically. We went the other way and we're very wrong. Oh, that's so much easier. In the flare. Oh, what a difference. Yeah, that is a huge difference. Let's see one of those combat approaches now, uh, like you were doing without having to fight that crazy nose down. Wow, what a difference. We still have a minute at least. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for that kind of approach, we'll do sort of a long final and high. Nice. So we'd be all the way up here. Okay. And we're gonna go idle power, full flap. And it's gonna come right on down. Don't be afraid of it. Was that a half lap takeoff? It was. Okay, I'm gonna let it get a little slower this time. Here's full flaps. Get the rudder in there. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thanks for coming by. That is awesome. Brandon, thanks so much for helping me uh, vet this out while we explore the difference in flap to elevator compensation once you make the big full flap regalia a part of your EC1500 experience. If you like the video, if you got some value from it, by all means, hit that subscribe button and the like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or if you just enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. We've been making videos of the latest and greatest RCs that come to the market for many years at this point. And we've got links to our short form in the description as well as links to the products that we use. Thanks so much for coming by. This is Pilot Ryan with Pilot Ryan Media. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.